Hello, everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from round six of the Mon Cala Galactic Championship Qualifier. Super excited to be here. And if you're watching live, uh, we had fun during round five, didn't we, Will? Oh, yeah. Amazing time. And if you didn't watch it live and you're watching later on YouTube and you're asking, where's round five? What happened to round five? Listen, you had to be here live to know what happened. And if you weren't, that's, that's, that's sad. It's sad. Well, uh, I'm about to open up the Choose Your Champion, but before we go anywhere, this is our last round of the day. Shout out to our crew today. Uh, D. Yoon on the judging of all the judgments needed to be judged. Uh, my man William Haywood commentating uh, me uh, with me all day and keeping me as positive as possible, even when my counsel is on fire. And we got James Ritter on the stats and the backup commentary as well. Go team. And of course, shout out to all of our players who are participating in Moncala. Remember, if you want to be a part of the Galactic Championship Series, you can go to goldsquadronpodcast.com. By the way, uh, we are going to be putting out a shout out probably in the next couple days looking for we need we are hiring another producer. A, we're calling them a junior producer uh, to kind of play some fill in roles that we're going to need here soon. So if uh, producing a GSP event sounds like something that you think you'd be interested in, it is a paid position and, um, you know, you got to be organized, uh, you know, Listen to good instructions goodly and uh, and have be be a good you know be a good friend as well. Come on and uh, when we put out that shout out, just send me a PM and uh, and you can you can be you can be uh, be a part of the team possibly. Instructions goodly, got it. That's right, James. You do. All right, I'm gonna open up the choose your champion. Will you're gonna break down the list? Let's go. If you're watching on YouTube later on, put it in the comment section down below. Who do you think is gonna be the champion of this round? All right. Round six, Moncala. You know me. I prefer the fish heads. Um, we're going to start uh, this last match of the Moncala <laughs> with <laughs> Dan, Dan Coppins. Uh You got it. That's a Moncala Mari joke. Uh, Dan, uh, Don, oh, man, the double A's mess me up every time. It's it's just Don. Uh, my Midwestern. Like, Don, like, Don. 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 Um, the Midwestern hard A's. Get me of that <laughs> at every turn. Uh, anyways, Don Coppins, uh is flying. Four zealous recruits. Those are the I one uh, Fang fighters. Uh, they have the Concordia face off, so they like having their attackers look directly at them at range one because they get free evade results. We have, uh, like, as I mentioned, four of them with a generic Jakku gun runner. Uh, with the uh, new crew member of Protectorate, Galeb, and Afterburners. Uh, Afterburners most likely to keep up with these fangs because they have boost-linked actions. Mm -hmm. uh, and Protectorate, Galeb, uh, gives the red coordinate action, and you can even transfer a red or orange token to the ship you coordinated. So, if you don't... Uh, what do I want to say? If you don't coordinate a linked action, they have both bear roll and boost into focus. You can even shred shed that stress to them, and they could easily clear it with a blue maneuver. Uh, great combo, super power piece right now uh, in a lot of scum lists. I'm very excited to see how... Uh, the tractor beam array mm -hmm. uh, g gets used. Um, yeah, I want to say I like this list. I, this looks super cool. Can, uh, what is his? Sorry, brain. Uh, what's the records on these players, James? Four and one for both. Four and one. Oh, they fight. They fighting for a place. Oh, I, I I told James I was like, we need that bubble match. Uh, the five and O's just don't fight it out as hard as the four and ones. Um, I think you said what? Just a couple four and twos will make it into cut. Mm -hmm. So uh, you have to be playing very good um, to get think, into I there. Dion said very goodly. So very goodly. Very goodly. You got to play very goodly. 
<laughs> All right. On the other side, another name I can butcher. Uh, Hor- Horatio. Horatio. Man, uh, you think I learned at some point? <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame, I'm gonna blame uh, the American school system. So hey, I'm part uh, of that. Don't blame me. Uh, the American uh, literature uh, and language. Music <laughs> 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 uh, has been great. Anyways, uh, Horatio Zimmerman you know, flying a, in my opinion, a classic uh, archetype. Uh, we saw it a lot uh, in early second edition hyperspace. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is a list that includes two Scimitar Squadron bombers, both with the Barrage rockets. Those are the, uh, the missiles that only require a focus. And the range two to three, uh, so good, uh, easy missiles to fire there. Uh, mixes it with uh, essentially some st- uh, aces with their staples. Uh, that soon tier fell in the interceptor with predator. Uh, gets the extra focus and then a reroll when he lines up those bullseyes. Uh, and, and rounding out the list is Darth Vader with afterburners. Such a powerful. Uh, upgrade on the i6 who loves boosting uh, and getting the arc here. Now we do have rocks on the field so there is some tricks that you can do uh, with afterburners where you can land on a rock afterburners off of it use Darth Vader's force um, and his ability that says after you perform an action you may spend one force charge to perform an action and as afterburners count as a boost action, you can kind of do some uh, extra action shenanigans with that. I am surprised that both these players did bring uh, the OG Big Rocks uh, as their... Well, I guess, I guess it actually makes mm-hmm. a lot more sense for the Jakku Gunrunner, now yep. that I say that. Uh, he loves the big old rocks. Happy to see that big field of them mm-hmm. as well. Like, hey, I'm, this yeah, is something I'm going to toss... Yeah. What's up, James? No. I was actually going to ask you that. Like, when was the last time you saw no gas clouds in a match? I mean, when I play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I don't, I try to only bring gas clouds when I'm flying uh, Vader or Jedi, uh, because of the like you can essentially fly through through them and still get actions. So um, I guess I, I guess I lied. I do use them. Uh, in certain matchups, but no, I'm. It, this is old school, man. Just mm-hmm. big old rocks. Uh, bring me back here. And uh, real quick, um, th- the other thing is, yeah, this is this is extremely old school. One of the most common things you would see uh, veteran players do is you just you only ever played with the three biggest rocks because it was more of a. I'm not bringing this these rocks to um, you know. You brought debris if you were playing dash, but most of the time is look. I believe that I can fly better than you. And if mm-hmm. you fly worse than me, you're going to hit these rocks, and it's going to be detrimental to you. I'll be fine. And and you could see, look at the confidence here. Dawn going into, in, going straight into the rocks. Zero fear. That, those are some fearless fangs right there. Now, one thing I, I did want to mention is before we had our council fire on our main uh, streaming PC, I was trying to pull up the art for our upcoming um, – our upcoming Shadow Squadron alt arts, and uh, I'm going to show that off here when we get to our next planning phase so you guys can see it because I actually was able to get the file open now rather than the uh, computer exploding. So we'll show that off here in a little bit. So it looks like we're probably going to have engagement. Darth Vader looks to be in range. Zealous recruits. I mean, Fangs do not like uh, taking range three and two shots. No, they do not. That uh, defensive ability is only range one. Luckily, all of these ships only shoot out the front arc, so we'll be very likely uh, that the we'll see a lot of the Concordia face-off triggers. Now, this is a bit scary for Darth Vader. He's taking a, tech, a second to really assess uh, his flight patterns here. 
Uh, the Bombers decided not to turn in, uh, which I'm very surprised about. Normally, they're what you're using to draw fire away from your aces. But because Darth Vader turned in, that sneaky Chiku gun runner, a three bank boost with afterburners, mm -hmm. is going to catch Vader and slam him onto one of those rocks, either to his left or right, and really mess up his flight pattern and his agility at that. Mm hmm. Now, did Darth Vader. Is he debating he's still considering, afterburners? He's still considering his. Is yeah, because you have to do afterburners first. Oh, okay. That's after you execute maneuver. So uh, good news, he does have targets. The bad news is that all four of those fangs are going to be taking shots into Vader. Um, so while he's going to be able to lay some pain on one of them, he might be have to be a little bit more conservative on the use of the force because you know you got shots yeah. coming in. Yeah, without a uh, fire control system, I I feel like he's. Is going to struggle to make good use of the locks he's taken. You don't really want to be sw taking lock action every single round. All right, and here's our shot. Changes one to a crit. Now, this Vader does not have fire control, so would have to spend the lock. There it is. And blank to blank. Here's the roll. Wow. Oh, full blank out. Hit crit yeah. feels bad. What crit are we getting? And the crit is a wounded pilot. That That's going to be a little bit rough. Yeah, it really slows down the linked actions. Like, they don't care about the stress as much as other ships. Look at that cool Fang Fighter. <laughs> so cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, they have the green moves or the blue moves. Uh, to clear stress, uh, but it ruins the linked action, which is sad. This is the obstructed range three, so three on five. There we go. And uh, after got his focus, yeah, he's got yep. his got to spend the focus. Oh, he just dropped all the force. I'm I'm or surprised he's force, rather. Uh, usually, if you got two or more, two or more uh, focus results, you want to use that focus first. But you know what? Mm -hmm. He's, he's going to have plenty more chances to probably roll some focuses, and there, there, there it is, right there. So, uh, it, it, net, uh, yeah, exactly, New, neutral move. <laughs> yeah, not what I have, would have done, but it worked <clears throat> worked out for him. All right, and here's another full string. Vader needs natties to not take any damage, but it's unlikely. Going to have four dice from range three. Hey, only um, oh, one. taking one damage only off after this whole thing. Yeah, that was all four shots, right? Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Okay. Well, yeah. with Focus, that. Yeah, the first one missed. With that, let's go ahead and show off this, uh, this uh, the Shadow Squadron. Um, art that we have coming. Uh, I'm, 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 not, I'm not sure uh, where we're going to use it. Maybe it's Patreon. I, we have it sooner than I thought we were going to have it. So, uh, so I, I don't know what we're going to we're going to do. But let me let's show this off real quick. So this is uh, the the accompanying art with uh, with our Alphabet Squadron. But here you go. Okay, a little peek there. Interceptor, Tie Fighter, Bomber, Reaper, Defender. Very nice. Oh, so good, so good. Okay, so looking forward to that. We're gonna have uh, an alphabet squadron and a, um, a shadow squadron uh, T-shirt gonna be coming out here in the next couple weeks, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. Uh, I know some people had have been asking about posters. Uh, we're working on that as well. I'm um, actually, I, I got to think. We're we're not gonna worry about that right now. We're gonna stay focused on the game. But I uh, just wanted, had to show that off because it looks so good. We're going to have a full set, full faction set. All right, speaking of the game here, let's get these dice cleared out. Um, so, if you're a Vader, what was your follow-up plan here? No, no, your other friends helped you out. <laughs> 
<laughs> My name's Vader. Like, nah, I don't have fam, I don't have good. friends. No, nah, fam, we good. They got ships over there. We're, we're not going over there. Well, the, the, um, the plan the plan might be to see, uh, you know, it's it's risky, but if you can you can pull off, you know, like a three bank afterburners, and if the the fangs come aggressive enough, you might be able to get out before uh, before they get you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe take one shot and then bring it back around. I mean, I'm thinking more of like three bank afterburners over that rock. Oh, to the left. Right, it- it yeah, might not matter left. what he sets in his dial, because if that gun runner is able to close into range one, he it can will. move him it, where he wants. <laughs> yep, he was just outside of range three. A three bank boost will put him into tractor beam range oh, there. I ju- wait, what? The the gun runner has afterburners? Yeah, that's what I said. To what? Keep up I the missed fight. it. I missed Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, man, if no, if you've never played a, I like Sarko Plank personally because he gets an extra defense dice for doing a three-speed maneuver. Uh, I like putting afterburners on him, but any of the quad jumpers, they're surprisingly slow. They feel so slow without a four-speed forward, mm-hmm. um, and, or a hard three, right? Like your fastest moves are just three bank. So, oh uh, yeah, that gun runner. Is oh, it, it's in. a coming baby. He's gonna he's gonna so, sl- slap him on that rock. So, do you dial in a b- green maneuver like a one bank to anticipate like a rotating from the tractor? I mean, you can't do anything too crazy because what if he doesn't tractor but, beam you? But what if he doesn't see that it's coming? That, that's the other thing. Uh, you know, a couple people asking like, why Gun Runner when they're all twenty nine? So it's just it's because his whole squad is initiative one, so he has the movement, uh, the movement flexibility. Yeah, being able to coordinate somebody before or after they move is uh, so much. Uh, what do I say? Like, like not more efficient, but it's just easier. Yep, just easier. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I don't think we'll see that uh, the Gun Runner coming in. Unless this yellow is trying to make space with a bear roll to the right. I yeah, think he's, he's already I... blocked it with red. No, three bank, three bank boost. You're fine. Forward boost. I mean, this dude's been flying fl- fangs all day. I, I mm-hmm. feel like he would know where the boost is, but he didn't move yellow here. He's coming in with a coordinate. Okay. I mean, I know if I was Vader, we were all thinking about it, right? We were worried about it, saying, hey, bad bad Mm -hmm. stuff's going to happen. And simply having the threat, the threat of that tractor beam can make players just make bad choices because you're like, okay, he's he's obviously going to tractor me, put me here, and you try to (laughs) play off of that. And then they're like, no, I'm not going to tractor you. You're like, oh, no, now I'm on a rock or something, you know, something like that. Self Rex can 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 definitely happen when you're right. trying to anticipate it. So we did see a protectorate Gleb coordinate to fix the wounded pilot off of green, mm-hmm. and then gave him the stress for it as well. He cleared that stress with the two bank. Uh, that's just good. Turns out uh, we do see the bombers coming in here, and maybe that's what. Uh, uh, Don was thinking that he might have left his quad jumper too exposed to the bombers in soon tier if he dove in for the tractor beam. That's very true. Yeah, I mean that's a, that's a really important piece. We got the two mm-hmm. hard. Probably afraid that the three hard would have put him on the rock. But looking at the trajectory, I think he would have been fine on the three hard. Uh, gets him out of three arcs. He's going to be taking shots from the quad jumper and one of the fangs. So could be worse. Takes a focus action. Yeah, the fangs had to really slow down around that central rock, and it's going to uh, cost them some arcs here. Uh, blue and green won't have any shots. That All was right. a soon tier trigger. Got his free focus. Going to shoot with a predator to an obstructed fang, range three. And if you mean you, you know that you you're going to get one <laughs> shot there. You have an evade. I think you spend it. Yeah, Two hits in a crit. Dice, range yeah. Three. Oh, You're risk fine. it for the biscuit, baby. You fine. Uh, Save your Vader. 
There we go. Can yep. There we go. And you might even cutting. just get get the other opponent, get Dawn to spend his focus. Yeah, that's what I was mean to try to stop some damage from going on to Vader. Let mm -hmm. him recover that force. And there you go. There's there the decision. Ba there you go. You may have saved Vader several damage right there by spending the focus. Yeah, always choose violence. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the yellow are... bomber might even have have a shot. Okay. Yep. Decisions here. The, the the choice is to go into uh, into red. An extra die is not as good as uh, having a focus. Higher potential, sure, but yeah, the I'd math yeah just doesn't check what? out. And I think that yeah. Yellow, they're going to have focus fire on them, too, from yellow. Mm -hmm. In that situation, what? though, I think I would have measured from yellow first. Measure from yellow first. I guess the back works, too, because you want to check range. But if you're unsure about the angle of the, of the arc, two hits. Two evades. Fangs be dodging. Aurelius47, thank you for the sub. We'll see how clean Vader ends up out of this. Next barrage rocket. Yeah, don't 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 get uh don't get sloppy. Yeah, keep going into that same target. It can definitely feel bad. Focus firing a target and not doing any damage. Uh, but making the right decisions is always good. <laughs> Three hits. And there you go. You got some payoff. You got half points on that uh, that red Zealous Recruit. There you go. No shots from the green or... Uh, sorry, the green or blue fangs. Here's yellow reaching for Soontier. Five dice. Soon tier does have an evade. Guarantee. Ooh, spins the focus. There you go. That's me. That's a good shot. Hit hit crit. It happens. And soon tier. Oh. Spend it for five, baby. Do it. Spend it for five. <laughs> I disapprove of this move. Not spending it for five. The RNG gods will punish you for not for ignoring your full efficiency. And Vader focuses out right there. He's going he's gonna to use a force. Yep. That's not the shot from the Fang. Here's a shot from the Fang. Three dice. No mods. Can Vader come out of this clean? Two hits. Spends a focus. He's fine. Easy. I mean, I feel like Vader got away with something there. His last couple turns. Man. He did stare down the gauntlet there mm -hmm. and snuck out. Oh, oh. do you want to send you a, a message? Got you, got you. Roger, roger. Just making sure that... Uh, just double check and make sure that that is correct. It is all. Uh, not supposed to be. You you really can't. That really? I I can. Yeah. I think no. I think they're talk. They're talking on the table. You see the the little uh, the button going off. They're using the push the push to talk in TTS. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Well, I muted them, so <laughs> I was very distracted. Anyways, uh, so Vader's in an interesting position here. Doesn't have a lock. He's in the he's in the rocks. Doesn't have a lock. Sitting in the rocks with his shiny socks. 
Uh, about to buy some stocks. Hey! <laughs> no, he's he's about to buy some rocks because uh, that Chakuri's gunner is gonna throw him on one. Maybe. Uh, I mean, if the things can get out of there, like. Well, that's the they're, glorious they're thing. They're all initiative one. They can get out, and he just shimmy up. But the question is, can he make it matter? Right. Mm hmm. I'm I'm pretty sure he can just go three straight and not land on anything. Well, I mean, there's you got to move the fangs out of the way, though. So where are they going? I, I don't think you do, though. You think a three no, yeah, straight no. go jumps over the fangs and just lands all pretty, just yeah. just pretty in pink right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, he is pink, yes, yeah. <laughs> well, I said it. Uh... Actually, looking at it, it may not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I I still think it does, but I think it may hit nubs. Well, you know what? I mean, you could just. If you, you take yellow, you don't need a three straight. You could just go two. Like you have a whole range one in front of you. Yellow can make just a one hard turn, and that that opens it up. One hard turn, you bring in uh, the Jakku to fire that. Now those bombers, those scimitars, they're coming. They're coming. Yeah, but if you barrel Bader back left, you might actually get a block off on the. On the scimitars with Vader. Oh, that'd be hilarious. I mean, I Ooh, I would guess right, that they're probably yeah. just going to go one straight though, like that. Yeah, that, they're, that's but their yeah, prerogative. But that would that would block them. <laughs> It'd be close. Yeah. It'd be real close. I'm not going to say no, but uh, it's possible. <laughs> not a country mile, but d a little discomfort. I've never understood the 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 uh, country mile. Like, how is a country mile different than a regular mile? A, a city it's, mile? It's because of uh, it's a country mile around here refers to essentially like a country block, uh, like a farmland. Okay. A uh, square. I don't know how to describe that, but you know what a block is, like a city block. Yeah. So a country mile is like to the next road. Got it. I always I thought it was like you know driving uh, in driving in the country is way faster in a mile than in the city. That's what I thought. But all right, man, these fangs they they came to choose violent. Oh my goodness, <laughs> we're fang fighters. This is our home. Hello, how are you? Are we gonna get more focus boost here? Oh, you should be able to fit that one. It's gonna be tight. Hope your whole plan doesn't revolve around that boost fitting. Cool. Oh, he's got it. Well, it does. <laughs> and it is boost first and then the focus by BT Dubs. That's for, for our, our friends out there. And oh, the aggression here. I love it. I love Fang Fighters. And, and yeah, what's the little Jakku going to do? Uh, that's tra tractor, baby. tractor Baby. Well, everyone's stressed, so I don't want to coordinate. <laughs> yep. Wow, wow, wow. A.E. Leeling Wordsworth. I got lost in his name for a second there. Uh, a uh, gave us an accurate description of what the technical country mile is. And it's about being eight furlongs instead of, uh, or excuse me, ten furlongs instead of being eight. Oh, man, this Vader's <laughs> going to hit this rock twice. Went to the right. Going to have to roll for damage now. And Get while rock, nowhere, nowhere to rotate to. Yep. So no damage, but we're gonna force another reroll and taking away Vader's action. I mean, you could rotate if your maneuver makes sense with it. And there is the Talon roll. No consequences on damage. Could choose to... I mean, I don't know if you would afterburners here because you can't get a lock. Oh, wait, yes, you can. What am I talking about? Afterburners so you can get a lock. Oh, no, he's no, stressed. stressed. He's yeah, stressed. Ah, yeah. oh, I didn't see the stress out there. Lies. Lies. You're stressed.
Well, at least you get a range one shot. Mm. Here we go. Getting rid of the quaddy. Yeah. Got a little pincer maneuver coming. I like that. Oh, misses. Misses the bullseye. Range two shot. If he, if he would have barrel rolled back instead of forward, he would have had the bullseye. And just one. Here's the defense and going to be putting in a damage on the quad jumper to get started. Vader, range one. This will be three okay. dice because he doesn't have a block. That's why it's not four. And going to spend the force for two. Trying to push aggression here. And that's going to be another damage. Mm -mm -mm. I wonder if the bombers will shoot at the, him then too, instead of these fangs that they're just not going to do any damage. I to. think I think you, that's probably the right choice. I mean, three agility, focus, evade. See, every time I think of Concord face off, I just think they just have two. Like all of these ships are just focus evade then. Yep. As long as the the two range ones are shooting at them. Yeah, and he did choose to shoot into the green fang fighter. Two shots. Yeah, but both of these shots would have served better into the Jakku gun runner. But I, I understand trying to keep that three dice as well. It does feel good to have that. But it's yeah. really... Also, potentially stripping a focus token that could hurt you. Mm-hmm. There's another two hits. And Concordia yeah. is going to make that two evades. So good, man. I fully expect right. to see a bomber removed from the table here. Yeah, they're going with red first. Smart uh, target selection. Shooting Oof. the one that, er, that can only shoot a single target. We're getting a crit here. We're getting all of them. Three hits and a crit going into that bomber. What's a crit? And we got a fuel leak. So one crit puts him down. Mm-hmm. And he's still got three shots to do it. Or yeah, just two normal damage. That one. works, too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, this is the one without the focus. Had to spend it on defense here. Still has a range one. Still gets Oof. three hits. Going to bring him at least down to one. Netty. All right. Just one hit. Yeah. Two more chances to do it. Ooh, this one's also range one. Just barely by the skin of his teeth. <laughs> all right, we should put him down. There That's all she wrote right focus. there. Boom, 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 boom. Dead ship. <laughs> <laughs> Final range one. Or no, we, uh, oh yeah. There's still, still one more shot. shot. Oh, three hits and a crit oh, going into oh. the yellow bomber now. And all of them are oh. digging in there, bringing them down to two hole. Maybe a little less. Whoo, hit, hit, hit. And this crit is also a fuel leak. Okay. Uh, let's see the quaddy put a little crit through. Just a little crit as a treat. <laughs> and one hit. Could be enough. He gets a two evades. You can't have them all. You can't have I them mean, all. I that, mean, that round just shows you, like, the strength of these fangs. When they can just close in and just prevent you from moving anywhere. It's what they were trying to do with Vader last round. Uh, but he, he was able to slip away. Those bombers were not able to do that. Yeah, I mean those those ships. They are definitely you know they're, they're jousty ships, but oof, you, you, you can't stand up to power of that magnitude. You just can't. Not gonna happen. Exactly. 
Uh, now the trainings are going to have a little bit, they're all stressed because they all did re the repositions. So they are going to have a little bit of time circling back around to give pursuit to uh, either that bomber again or uh, one of the aces. Uh, I don't think the Jakku can hard one and tractor Sinter fell. Mm -hmm. He can go to reverse though, but I feel like Vader's just one banking to his left. So reverse might not be the best way to go there. A couple people saying, what if that bomber had bombs? I mean, yeah, that would be super sweet this turn, but you can't. <laughs> you just don't, you don't have the points for it. At 199. Uh, Jack Brissian. Uh, yeah, you can't, you can't afterburners um, off of a hard one. You need a three, four, or five speed maneuver. Yep, the card reads, uh, after you fully execute a speed three to, through five maneuver, you may spend one charge to perform a boost action, even while stressed. We may see a, another tractor here onto the uh, bomber to throw him back onto that rock to the bomber's left. Hmm. Potentially. We could also get some shenanigans. Hmm. Remember, the pinpoint tractor rate isn't always isn't only exclusive to friendly ships. You, uh, sorry, to enemy ships. You could also tractor friendly ships if you want to do some shenanigans with moving people in a certain spot. You got a you got a chance there to to do some fun fun maneuvering yeah especially when your formations like this close uh being able and, and being all initiative one uh being able to just you know pull somebody out of the formation for a second so they don't uh cause a bunch of blocks to be very interesting well we were theorizing on the cast about uh what four fangs uh, plus some of the new upgrades. We were thinking it would be Gauntlet Key, but this mm -hmm. uh, quad jumper is saying that, no, 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 coordinate's just as good. Coordinate and the tractor potential. Two-point coordinate Gleb, and you have the, the, the tractor beam? Yeah, seems good. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Uh, it's pretty it's good. just a great efficiency play because the tractor, I mean, the th th that tractor affects all their shots. Rather than gamma right. key that only allows one of them to keep a token. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's essentially like yeah, giving somebody an extra mod versus giving all your ships mods. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times, like debuff is stronger than uh, buffing your own ships. So I'm glad to see uh, people taking advantage of the quad jumpers. And not just 50-point loaded down Constable Zubios like myself was in his list. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling you out. My man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I saw him a chat, Marcel. Marcel's like, Do I, does this thing still have slots? Give me more. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they'll come out with more expensive things uh, like tech slots and bombs you can put on your Zubio. So we get up to that 60-point range. Uh, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out where these fangs are trying to go. They're all stressed. Do they all just like hard to encircle around uh, following the board edge here? Mm, interesting. Okay. Some... Self bump. Ooh, some self block. Oh, okay. I like that. Oh, do you have range one? He's, he's trying. He's trying it. No. Oh, he's going to tractor that ship. So he's got the choice of red or. Blue, you do have to track to somebody. Yep. You cannot fail that if you have any ships at all in your in your arc. Okay, looks like I might need to go TO here for a second. Just double checking something. Yep, I'll be I'll be right back. You guys are still live. Okay. So he ends up tractoring red here. Let's see if he moves them. This is what I was saying about sometimes your formation gets a little bit too close with these ships. How's it going? I noticed you need some help. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Correct. If he didn't have any tokens or didn't have you didn't have you uh didn't have you locked, then then there then then yeah, there's no Uh, Dion, you, you took your mic with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were he hearing about the false transponder codes for a second. Anyways, we're going. Uh, the quad jumper ended up having to track to his own friend here, Red. And uh, soon to you missed a shot. I mean, there was more like this LSV crew defended uh, against the shot. So not too much going on here. Didn't, I don't think the bomber had done much there. It, yeah, it shot one crit into a range one. Uh, zealous recruit and it Concord donned it so didn't work out for him and the zealous recruit went one for one as well so now not anything going on that round just trying to smash as many ships as possible into the tightest asteroid cluster <laughs> possible you know as you do in X-Wing Uh, I I said that out of turn, but uh, or not not that. Uh, but I was typing in chat. Um, rules question: You can only rotate if an enemy tractors you. You can't rotate if you if you tractor a friendly, correct? Okay, that's what I thought. Because it would it would actually make quad jumpers way better support ships all of a sudden if you could be rotating your friendlies. Wow, the things you could do. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I guess you got a point there. Uh, but, do not but, want th that. but they'd get a stress to do it, so that'd actually be pretty fair. Well, they wouldn't be able to take an action, then that's yeah. true. But I don't. I really don't want them 360 no scoping that bullseye though. <laughs> no thanks. I'm good. <laughs> don't you dare. Can they, can they, um, can they hear you? They're saying, they're saying you're away. 
Oh, no. Sorry. Yeah, my bad. Helps when you hit the button. Hi, everybody. Round six. Here's the K turn. I was saying, uh, the no, you can't tractor. Uh, you can't rotate if you self-tractor one of your friendly ships. And then I gave an example of the Nantex. You would not want them to uh, to do that. That'd be bad. There you go. There's the rest of that conversation. So I don't look like a crazy person. <laughs> uh, or sound like a crazy person, at least. I certainly look like a crazy person. I'm not in the business of denying that. <laughs> All right. All right. So Fang's trying to set up some marks here. Uh, still in this tight quarters fight. Mm hmm. Trying to, try to get some damage in on these Fangs as well. Um, with that bomb, that bomber, you just haven't gotten as much damage as you were hoping for out of it. You did, you got some good shots into the quad jumper, but after that, mm, you haven't quite gotten the value. Usually with those barrage rockets, you're kind of hoping them together can, can take down a pretty priority target, rather than mm -hmm. uh, essentially what happened in this game is just uh, they they kind of gave up the ghost without getting anything out of it. Yeah, and I mean, they're facing kind of the the hard their their hard counter, which is the ship who wants to fight at range one every mm -hmm. round instead exactly. of something the bombers can maybe like chase and get a mm -hmm. bunch of barrage rockets off of. And yeah, can we can we give some props to these players? Uh, they they are showing some excellent flying. Uh, no rocks mm -hmm. have been hit on accident. <laughs> Uh, by either right. of these I mean, flying they're... in this tight cluster of uh, of large asteroids. Yeah, uh, the, I. It's hard to uh, get trained for that. The best ex ex suggestion I always make for newer players is you stop looking at the rocks and start looking at the lanes they make. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's that's the kind of like be the water kind of. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just uh -huh. flow, th flow around the rocks. And soon tier is not going to have a shot. Vader probably doesn't have that. Nope, it's too far, uh, too far forward. This is unlikely to hit. You're you're hoping for some uh, maybe a crit to slip through if you can roll it naturally. I mean, yeah, you're going to die. So you spend it in hope. Well, you uh, know what? You yeah. forced them to spend the focus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that one is damaged. Uh, add only two hull remaining. Him mm -hmm. and Red are the wounded ones. Here's the range two shot. And that's going to do it right there. Oh, my God. Sorry. There's no focus. That's going to do it right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bomber taking off. So this is Soontir and Darth Vader versus uh, D Dawn's entire list. Uh, by the way, sh sh another shout-out to Dawn. I believe... Um, oh, there's a clip here. He's clipping Soontir range three. Oh, oh watch out. Soon tier does have a focus, two hits. Oh, natties. Some people in the chat are asking how was Marcel's uh, a house a house came on the market earlier today. Marcel in his house hunt went quickly. He had to like stop the first round of the tournament and went to go look at it, and he said he was very disappointed. Yeah, it had a nice view, and uh, that's about it. The nicest part was the balcony and after that it was a no-go yeah i was a serious investment mm -hmm. uh you got to uh, look into it deeply exactly you cannot live in the view at this fight, Marcel, just put all your guys' yeah. stuff on the on the little the little balcony, the balcony. <laughs> and uh and yeah that's that's your home now <laughs> uh, oh, my shout out to Don is uh, just seeing seeing a cool different list here doing well 
is always always funny. This is not an archetype that we've seen. Four fangs, we've seen that kind of like Fen Rao and three. Uh, but this mm-hmm. this style, I'm I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I might have to fly something like this at uh, in one of our weekly flight clubs. No nah, man, I've been praising. Uh, I mean, pre- the last uh, qualifiers I was running in the veteran tournament, I've been flying fangs. Uh, well, it's really just because I got so addicted to the the linked action boost and barrel roll. Uh, it's so good. Um, but I didn't uh, want to fly V ones anymore, so I just switched over to fangs. And wow, I feel every one of them feels like a little grand inquisitor to me. <laughs> uh, with that range one defensive ability, you know, kind of. Uh-huh. Uh huh. They don't. I mean, no evades and force and stuff like that, but. That's not really what I'm referencing. Yeah, you're just talking about the, the defensive potential. Yeah, just rolling up range one and just sh- shooting something. <laughs> like, whatever. Not caring. And that's the other thing, too, is that, like, with that defensive ability, the more their offense ends up being better because they don't have to spend those, the single token they get every round to that focus uh, on defense as often. Mm-hmm. Now, Vader getting tractored there uh, by the Jakku Gunrunner. This could be bad news. No, he doesn't move him. Is that a fake out? You don't have to move him. And remember, the rotate... The rotation, the 180 degree... Or, sorry, the 90 degrees uh, can only happen if the tractor moves an enemy ship. You get that minus one yeah. agility for free. Well, yeah, that's what I was saying. Maybe, maybe Vader set a dial thinking that he would have the opportunity to move his, or uh, rotate rather. Soon Tier did so the two to the curious. left, trying to get into the backfield here. Setting up the flank. Vader, where are you going? I think one of one of wow. the issues that Vader has That's had this yeah, one of the issues that Vader's had this year, uh, this game is ha- hasn't had a lot of opportunities to have target locks and take do what Vader does does best and just be a hammer. Right, he's been real low on force ever since he, uh, ever since he. Went to go to joust all of the ships. Mm-hmm. And he's going to have even less now. Now, I'm a big uh, advocate of the focus linked red roll on the X1 chassis. Everyone gets too, in my opinion, too focused on you have to spend force to take other actions. Yep. But with one force, you can lock, spend the force to focus take a stress to barrel roll if need be. I'm surprised he didn't go back there. Try to see if he can creep into range one. I mean, I'm sorry, into range two on that uh, that green fang fighter. Yeah, see that? And that's another... That's a missed opportunity. Style, he could have like, had a, a target lock there as well, right? That's, I mean, you do stress yourself, so you got to weigh those consequences. Sure. Um... Because you have limited blues. But a lot of the times, especially Vader, especially uh, soon tier, are ships who are like, I would prefer the range one, uh, obviously. Mm. And like, let's just do some damage. Green's hurt too. Like, you're trying to kill him. But giving him that extra defensive bonus might not be worth it. He does have good focus fire here. Like, Green should die this round, regardless. Right, Who's debating two. the quad jumper? Okay. Yep. I mean, it has three hull. No, it's going to try to see focus, focus fire, fire the green. And there you go. Three hits. Two blanks is a dead fang fighter. And that's it. You got him. Nice. Spend so the focus not having the lock didn't matter. There Two it is. Guys back. My lord. 
That's big. Uh, Bruce, M- minus Bruce one shot, still, and you can avoid the uh, the the. You avoided the stress by the, taking the the linked action there as well. Yeah, potentially. I mean, that's the problem. It's not a great spot to K turn because it doesn't have a. Oh, it does have a lock on yellow. He must have taken it. Oh, he took it the round when he one banked away. That's mm-hmm. right. Quad jumper unable to do any damage. Here's the second fang. That's going to be a shield on Vader. Shields are down. One away from half. Range three shot. Spend for three. We had the focus. And that's going to be another damage. Half points on Vader. That's super big. Super big is where the time's ticking down here. Under 20 minutes left. Mm hmm. Puts the score 107 to 62. Yes, 107 to 62. Dawn leading right now. So good turn. Good t- turn there by, by Dawn. Able to scoop up that half points on Vader. Um, we, Vader, Vader, and Suntier need to start popping some of these Fang fighters. And I think one of the issues is we talked we talked about it. The Fang fighters love being in range one, and they can continue to be aggressive. And I also I really like the fact that the Fang fighters are also at three different or uh, two different angles right now, because you can mm-hmm. you can start covering different spots where Vader and Suntier are going. Suntier feels like he's in more of a hunting position right now but you could have potentially if you have the blue fang fighter get out of there have the red fang fighter just one hard barrel roll focus and be like hey let's tango baby <laughs> right uh but the red one is the most hurt so maybe you don't want uh, uh an attack from soon tier i assume soon tier uh, is just gonna two bank and then figure it out afterwards <laughs> Right, or two bank and then barrel roll, whichever way is the best. Yep, maybe boost if need be. And getting on that um, forty-five you, definitely definitely gives you more options. Yeah, I mean, you have to imagine Vader here's got an afterburners charge left, correct? Yep. So mm-hmm. as the three bank, possibly a five forward could be dialed in. Could four K as well mm-hmm. if you just wanted to get the shot on yellow. Risking a lot, though, by doing that, because er, you I feel like everybody is coming in through that lane behind them. I mean, when it, right now, that is one of the, the larger lanes available to you with the obstacles. And as we uh, as we wind down here with our last 20 ish minutes of today's stream, maybe 25, I want to say thank you to everybody who has if you've been if you've been a player here in the Moncala qualifier. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed your day today. I know we had a little bit of a bump there during round five, but we kept it rolling. Stream uh, viewers, you guys as well. It's always great to have your support and and see so many of you guys jump right back onto the stream, uh, even though we had a council fire going earlier today and here we go zealous recruit red diving in ready to catch some vader i mean do you focus boost here yeah there you go be able to catch the k turn there's the heart yeah you just need to get the you just need to make room get get these other ships through the lane gonna barrel roll Back, where's the blue one gonna yeah. go? A heart two. He made room for it. Bonk. Nope, two bank and bump. Odd decision there, but Vader, Vader's getting he's yeah, gonna well, get hit right now. Depending on how it lines up, could Vader maybe do the 4K and then afterburners out of Red's arc? Yeah. Soon tier did commit to the inside there. That's risky. I mean, he's he's behind right now, right? You you gotta get aggressive, focus yeah. boost. Yeah, focus boost. There we go. <laughs> Into range one, of course. Oh uh, yeah, you're right. Sorry, <laughs> that was a bad idea. Well, you know what? You can shoot uh, no, shoot the quad it's, jumper. It's what you have to. What you have to. There we go. A block on that tractored Vader. I like that. I like that. Attempted the three bank, by the way. Just try, trying to get out of dodge to yeah. three bank afterburners boost. 
Yeah, so he was he was trying to leave. Makes sense. Goes for both of these are at full health. So does he shoot the quad jumper? And here's a four die shot. That's going to be four hits. Oh, denied. Only one damage there on the blue recruit. With the natties. That blue recruit might be able to return the favor. Range two going into Vader. Vader does have one force. And that's going to be two hits. Vader's tractor, that's why he only has two, has to spend the force to avoid damage. One more shot coming in. And only one hit on this one. Able to get out of that scot-free. Wow, Vader. The, the force has been with him this day. <laughs> Just trying to be like, Vader, come on. <laughs> so he's Wait. currently 45 points behind. Is that correct, James? He needs 46 points to lead. 46 points to lead, 45 uh, to tie. So you you yeah. need uh, like a fang, a fang and a half or the rest of the quad jumper and half well, of the need, fang? You, well, you need just one... One more in the quad jumper will get you 18 points. And then a half of a fang will get you 21. So what's that? 39? So that's not going to be enough. You're going to have to kill a quad. Or you're going to have to kill a fang uh, somewhere in here. And yeah, a whole fang. The, half jump, the quad jumper is already ha uh, is not halved, is it? No. No. All right, so you could take the full quad jumper and let's say the rest of red, and that would put you ahead yeah, as well. Yeah, for sure. I wonder if a two reverse here from the quad jumper might be good. Uh, to that, get behind student tier almost. It could be a good yeah, block or to block as well. Tier, yeah. You could four. You could four. Or tap talon your blue. Two reverse your uh, quad jumper. Yeah. What you got? What you got? Be after points. Uh, you're gonna need at least a full thing or two halves. You're, you're gonna need three halves of something. Whether that's a full thing and half of something else. You gotta see what are these players playing for at this point. Are, are you going? You going for the cut? Are you gonna go for broke here? Maybe you're you're fighting for faction prizes right now. Try to get as many points as you can. It's always interesting to see how different people close out games, how conservative and or aggressive they are. We're going we're gonna to learn a little bit about uh, Horatio right now. Yeah, because we're waiting on... We're not waiting on Dawn. We're waiting on Darth Vader. Mm-hmm. Like, this is, not, this is not a slow play situation. Like, uh, which is... Uh, good to see, uh, to be honest with you. Don't uh, want to see the, the winner just dragging out the last 10 minutes for as long mm -hmm. as possible. All right, looks like... Oh, no. Go, going back on the, the, this, the Vader decision. I mean, that two-hole on Vader is the game. Like, you can't recover from that. Team tier is good, but not one shot in Fang is good. I think I might K-turn if I was Vader. Just, just go into the teeth and, and see what you can get. Got a I little mean, that, self bump. That's, that's the struggle of like, do you run or do you stay and fight and risk your own ship? Well, you can see that Red Fang fighter is trying to trying to play for the K-turn right there. <laughs> like, hey, if you do it, you're going to regret it. Oh, nope. Barrel rolling. I mean, it keeps him in a good lane here to like keep going like hard to, essentially, hard to uh, circling around that corner rock. 
And he self bumped blue this round, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah sure keep, keep him back, trying to see if. Yep, there you go. Nice. There's the block on Soon Tier. Uh, no bullseye for Soon Tier, so an unmodified shot on the quad jumper is always going to get. Fader, though, <sighs> doesn't bump. One straight. Can he barrel roll out of Yellow's arc? No, he can't barrel roll back far enough. You're right, you're right. For that. Sad. So he can kill red, which is what I would do. Just go out swinging. He ain't arc dodge invader. Mm-hmm. Lock focus, make it big. Yeah, lock focus, get it done. Make it rain with the blood of your enemies. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, a, a, a Sith would say something like that, right? Seems thematic. He's he's flip flopping on his uh, his action choices here. Yeah, he's got to hurry up. Like <laughs> this is this is where time management comes into play. Like you got to recognize you don't have time to think. You need the rounds. With Soon Tier having a terrible shot this round, like you just got to go for it. Yep, I mean, because using using more time is being detrimental to Horatio right now. It doesn't help him. Exactly. No. It, yeah. No. He would prefer extra rounds mm -hmm. because he. What were we saying? Three halves. So that's at least three shots, if not four or five. That's three turns. You only get eight minutes. <sighs> that's less than three minutes a turn. Like the math doesn't add up. Yep. Gotta yeah. gotta speed it up. And he barrel did not take the shot. So if Soon Tier doesn't do any damage here, you're still looking at uh, three more turns, uh, potentially. Mm -hmm. Here we go. You saw that Vader didn't have a shot. Here's Soon Tier. One hit into the quad jumper. Currently has three hole and is going to keep all three of those. Nice. Nutties. Nutty. Ooh, Vader did barrel out. Okay, I didn't watch look out! At that angle, watch you, out with your bad self. Down. I thought so. My heart, my heart knew. Uh, <laughs> Got a range one from the quaddy. That's, that's probably what he was staring at more so than the shot was the dodge. <laughs> oh, puts a damn the quad jumper punches <laughs> Vader in the mouth down the one hole. Got right. He's like, "Oh, you're a Sith Lord in charge of the galaxy. You know, number two in the Galactic Empire." That's interesting. I run blaster pistols across the <laughs> in, a, in a tugboat. How are you doing? I go do 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 do. Yeah, pew, I strap some afterburners to my tugboat. By mm -hmm. the way, it'd be like putting NOS in your Civic. But yeah, so <laughs> let's do it. Or no, more like your dump truck at that point. But yep. Like, yep. <laughs> It's not really even a dump truck. More like a fork truck, to be honest with you. <laughs> He's out there fighting a tank with a fork truck. He's like, I got you. Let's just flip you up here. Somebody asking, didn't he have arc on red before the roll? He did. Uh, but bear rolling out got him out of yellow. So, you know, he was able to reduce his shots by one. Yeah, taking a modified four dice attack isn't really what you want to do at two hole mm -hmm. but would you rather take an unmodified three die attack from the, <laughs> the <Jigu gun runner laughs> and still take a damage i mean do well, I... <laughs> he's alive it's he's still on the board it worked out uh, a tow truck tow truck still seems too beefy for those little quad jumpers though but i guess so it's mater Oh, jeez. I guess. Yeah, Mater with Nos out there. That's every tugboat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tugboat Altart coming. Mater. Love it. All righty. Five minutes and change left on the board. What do we, what do we got going in our, our event clock? We'll go take a peek here. Real quick, five minutes. We we are we are right on the dime. They got thirty seconds. Uh, th the event time is thirty seconds ahead of uh, ahead of that. So we got basically we got to cut these guys thirty seconds short. We'll see if it ends up mattering. 
Honestly, those 30 seconds could end up saving Horatio some points from a ship, like not having to take another turn. These guys are both four and two, Marcel. Great question. Yep, bubble game. Four and one. Sorry, four and one. One of them will be four and two. One <laughs> already, of them will already, be five and one. GG'd both of them. Like, you both lost. <laughs> four and two. You You're both lose. Two. Goodbye. You're four and two. Get out of here. <laughs> Don't want to see you tomorrow. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the disrespect. All right. This is going to be a, uh, a tractor beam most likely on Vader. I wouldn't rotate him. Just leave him right there. No, don't give him. Don't give him the option. Oh no, you you, you, you can't. The barrel roll. Yes, but it's off the board, so it's not allowed. Okay, so failed. Does he still get to rotate then? He didn't move, so I would assume no. No. And looks like the fangs are going into the corner to try to catch Vader. Oh no, I like this this bump potential. That blocks a, uh, a probably a one bank. Well, that does. Yeah, boost that guy out of the way. No, don't be there. No, don't be there. I. This seems a little Here's... bit. This is a little more aggressive in the corner than I would be. He's kind of tucked himself a little bit far. Yeah, because he. I mean, Vader's does have the lock. Okay. Yeah, Vader's got the lock on you, though. A one straight wreck your face from Vader could could be devastating. All right, we'll get a no, focus boost one, here. You can't one straight because what if the quad jumper moved you forward? I mean, you're right. So you assume he's turning in. Hard turn, hard three. Just so has that afterburner, so could Talon roll? Tune Tier getting angry over here. Mm -hmm. Just wants something in his bullseye to shoot at. Oh, Vader does end up bumping there. Gonna take a range one shot from the quad jumper. Would would that be? Is that sad or is that uh, is that a beautiful thing to to see a quad jumper finish off Darth Vader? Ah, oh, that's hilarious. Like slaps him with the end, like the tow cable. <laughs> <laughs> you're dead. That was a <laughs> like you're dead. Soon to your only two hits. Oh, it does have a predator. It does have a predator. Three hits going into the uh, the the blue. I'm gonna get two damage, but that's not enough to kill it. You do get half points though. One hundred seven eighty three. Yeah. Concordia face off every single time. Just mm -hmm. save these ships, man. So good. All right, he's going to leave it up to the quad jumper to get the kill. Quaddy! What a guy. Oh, what that's going to be – that, 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 that's it. I can feel Two it. Hits, I can feel, oh, no. Blank. The force. He's only got one force. Oh, he's only got one? Yeah, he's dead. No, oh, the Dark Lord falls to the quad jumper. All Wait. hail quad jumper, our new Dark Lord of the Sith. <laughs> uh, yeah, because he focused rolled last round, didn't he? Yeah, he sure he, that's did. That's what he spent his force on. Yeah. Wow. Quad jumper. <laughs> gun runner. Uh, gun runner confirmed. Best 29 point <laughs> quad jumper. Absolutely fantastic. Wow. Well, that that is a fun way to end our stream for today. Let's say thank you to our players. They got one more round deal. I mean, I mean, they're still playing, right? Oh, they, 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 uh, oh, there's the time, time in the oh, round. Oh. <laughs> I um, um, really want to go home, don't you, Dion? <laughs> no, I, I messed up. Sorry, I got excited. Wow, disrespect. <laughs> All right, you're, you're, pull, you're pulling a real James here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just making sure Don won, so you guys can go home now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no worries, Dion. It was just getting a laugh out of the long day here as we wind down. But yeah, I don't think that soon tier could even has the capability to win the game. So you're not, you're not. When, yep. Uh, what did, what did Falcon say? He's like, he's not, you're out of line, but you're not wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, and the MOV does matter. Uh, Horatio grabbing a couple couple more MOV could ma could be the difference in the uh, in the rankings. Because mm -hmm. some four and twos are going to be making it. All right. Blue 
hard left turn. The boost. Taking, that, that's very smart. Taking the damaged uh, Fang and just getting it out of town. Mm-hmm. That is time in the round. All right, let's see if Soon Soon Tier can do something here. Uh do you go into I mean red red and yellow, it's the same same chances. I guess you have you have predator on yellow, so you go you go there. Well red red's almost dead, but oh yeah, to score points. I yeah, mean, to score there's points. There's a big upside to killing yellow, right? One shot yellow with a direct hit or something. Oh well. That's not how oh, that's that's not gonna happen. Go. Yeah, yellow yellow was the was the was the better shot there. Oh, it looks like actually it was into yellow. Because he did do a reroll there. Quad jumper. Didn't have a focus. Two crits. Don't don't blank out soon to here. Oh no. Okay, you got focus evade. You're fine. <laughs> oh, I was, I was like, oh, we don't want to we don't want to end this game that way. Well, one more time, congratulations to uh, to Dawn for for getting the W here. Uh, good game to both the players. Now it is time for me to go into TO mode and find out who is going to be in our top 32. All right. Let's do it. Uh, by the way, Will and James, great work today, guys. No problem, man. That was a pleasure. All right. Let's go ahead and divvy out the points. Hello to our X-Wing players. We are uh, we are wrapping up this final round. It looks like a lot of people had a great time, which is awesome. Let's get those scores in. You are welcome, Zach. We're going to find out who's in that top 32 and read it down. There are going to be some four and twos that make it. Because of the maths. The maths. Now remember, players, if you are if you are done. Okay. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, and Fallen, our Grand Admiral Patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.